What other factors affect characteristics? Georgia fast fact. Bird songs. Indigo buntings are found all over the eastern United States. Several scientists have worked to understand why their songs seem to change. Many believe that young males copy the songs of older males in order to attract females. In the investigate, you'll classify some of your own behaviors as inherited or learned. Vocabulary preview. Instinct. A behavior that an organism inherits. Page 342. Learned behavior. A behavior that an animal acquires through experience. Page 344. Environment. All the living and non-living things that surround and affect an organism. Page 346. Instincts. Many of the things you do, such as reading, writing, playing games, and acquiring new skills are learned. But some, such as eating and sleeping, are instinctive. An instinct is a behavior that an organism inherits. Since instincts are inherited, they are passed from parents to their offspring. Have you ever observed a bird making a nest or watched a cat groom itself? If so, you're familiar with some instinctive animal behaviors. These help an animal survive in its surroundings. Behaviors for building shelters, caring for young, and finding food are usually instinctive. Ospreys, for example, build their nests away from other birds, protect their young, and hunt for fish instinctively. Canada geese instinctively fly south for the winter and eat grains and water plants. Squirrels instinctively collect and store nuts and other seeds for the winter. Cats instinctively eat when they're hungry, sleep when they're tired, and cover their wastes. They also instinctively care for their young, feeding them and protecting them from danger. Instincts are not just behaviors of individual animals. Instincts are usually shared by all members of a species, or by all the males or all the females of a species. Certain species of ants, for example, instinctively take care of aphids, which are insects that provide the ants with food. In addition to sharing species instincts, different breeds within a species may have slightly different instincts. Beagles, for example, don't have to be taught to track small animals, but they can't herd sheep. Border collies don't have to be taught to round up sheep, but they can't hunt rabbits as beagles do. These two dog breeds have specific instincts that guide their behavior. However, neither breed needs to be taught fear. Both are born knowing to avoid danger. What instincts were you born with? You were able to eat and sleep when you needed to, and you were able to communicate with your parents when you needed things. Your crying was instinctive. Focus skill. Cause and effect. What effect do instincts have on an animal's survival? This osprey chose a particular place for her nest, and she instinctively knows how to build a nest and care for her young. Some species of ants instinctively herd aphids to fresh leaves. There, the aphids feed and make a sweet liquid that the ants eat. The ants also defend the aphids against predators. Learned behaviors. Birds instinctively build nests for shelter, but their nests are not all alike. Canada geese, for example, build nests on the ground using grasses and mosses. Ospreys build nests high above the ground and they sometimes reuse old nests. Shorebirds, such as seagulls, lay their eggs in shallow depressions in the sand. Swallows use mud, 
clay and saliva to cement grass nests to cliffs, buildings, or bridges. Building a nest is instinctive, but using certain kinds of materials is a learned behavior. A learned behavior is a behavior an animal acquires through experience. Cheetahs, for example, are born with the instinct to hunt, kill, and eat other animals. To survive, however, young cheetahs must learn hunting skills from adults. They must have experiences that teach them the best ways to track, hunt, and kill. A young cheetah needs both the instinct to hunt and experiences that develop hunting skills. You were born with the instinct to cry, but you learned to vary the pitch and loudness of your crying depending on your needs. As you grew and developed, you learned many other behaviors. You learned how to walk and talk. You learned how to dress yourself, how to bathe, and how to brush your teeth. Though you had the instinct to eat, you learned, you learned how to dress yourself, how to bathe, and how to brush your teeth. Though you had the instinct to eat, you learned table manners and how to use spoons, forks, and knives. Not all learned animal behaviors are used for survival. Animals may learn some less important behaviors from people. A parrot, for example, may mimic simple human speech. Like many people, you may have taught your dog to shake hands. Have you ever seen dolphins doing tricks or seen a circus act with trained animals? These performances often include behaviors that are similar to instinctive behaviors, but the animals are trained to perform the behaviors at specific times or on command. Some animals can learn behaviors that are helpful to people. These behaviors aren't necessary for the animal's survival, but can be very useful to the animal's human companions. Service animals are trained to do tasks that help people with disabilities. Guide dogs help owners who can't see by leading them as the owners walk. Hearing dogs alert their owners to sounds such as ringing phones and doorbells. Mobility assist dogs help physically disabled people with tasks such as carrying objects or opening doors. Dogs aren't the only animals that can be trained. Capuchin monkeys have also been trained to help people do simple tasks. Focus skill, cause and effect. How are most animal behaviors learned? Instalab, model a beak. Birds have the instinct to eat certain foods, such as seeds. Place a few beans in a graduate, a narrow cylinder. Try to remove them with a beak made up of your thumb and index finger. Then try this with forceps. Why is it important for birds to feed from certain plants? These cheetah cubs were born with the instinct to hunt, but their mother teaches them hunting skills. Together, instinct and learned behaviors help the cubs survive. Behaviors that whales and dolphins are taught provide them with exercise and allow them to assist with their own veterinary care. Environmental influences. Some characteristics or behaviors are the result of environmental influences. An organism's environment is everything in its surroundings that affects it, including water, soil, air, weather, landforms, and other living things. All living things have needs. Animals need food, water, space, and shelter. Plants need nutrients, water, and sunlight. When an environment changes, all the things that live there are affected. Sometimes animals lose their shelter or they can't find enough food or water, so they must move to get the things they need. People fence off many parts of the environment. This reduces the size of livable space 
and forces animals to share habitats with people. Fences make it hard for animals to migrate or move to different habitats. Fences also cut through hunting grounds of predators, such as mountain lions or wolves. When people cut down forests for timber or dig up the land to mine for resources, they destroy habitats. Habitats are also destroyed when people fill wetlands to make space for houses and shopping malls. Sometimes, changes in the environment force animals to change their behavior. In areas where food becomes less plentiful, some animals may learn to eat different foods. Wolves usually eat deer or mountain goats. If there aren't enough of those animals, wolves may learn to eat cattle or sheep. Bears and deer have begun to wander into populated areas to search for food. This can also happen when they get used to being fed by humans. The environment can also cause a physical change in a species over time. Pollution kills many plants and animals, but these poisons can also damage the chromosomes of living organisms and can affect their offspring. Look at the frog in the picture. The defects in its body are the result of pollution that changed the frog's DNA. If the DNA change occurs in the frog's gametes, its offspring will inherit the body defects. Most of these problems can be fixed. Each person can have a role in protecting the environment. One way is through conservation. Conservation is the preserving or protecting of natural resources. This includes three actions that most people are familiar with, reducing, reusing, and recycling. The environment can also be cleaned and restored. This process is called reclamation. It can be costly and take a great deal of time. Removing pollutants is often part of reclamation. In places where the water quality is poor, organisms often have a hard time surviving. When the water quality is improved, the whole habitat benefits. Focus skill, cause and effect. How can the environment affect future generations? Human activities such as farming affect the environment. Here, chemicals used in farming have run off from a field, polluting the water. Poisons in an environment harm the populations living there. This frog has defects because pollutants damaged its DNA. How might this damage affect future generations? As habitats shrink, more animals move into populated areas in search of food. Unless they are reclaimed, surface mines like this one can permanently change the environment. GPS, wrap up and lesson review. Essential question. What other factors affect characteristics? In this lesson, you learned the difference between learned behaviors and instincts. You also saw how the environment can impact behaviors.